the Department of Education Region 10, Division of Malaybalay City with the full support of the City Government of Malaybalay and DXDB Cinco Nueve Cuatro sa inyong mga radio ang Radio Bandilio offers a radio-based instruction for Grade 6 English entitled at the Internet Cafe. Good afternoon learners, I am Teacher Jerry. And I am Teacher Karen. Your teacher, teacher duo, duo on the radio. radio. Mabuhay malay balay. Yes, today we will learn about making connections between information viewed or listened to and personal experiences. Before we start, please prepare your pen and paper. Look for a quiet place in your home where you feel comfortable and safe. Ready yourself for the radio lesson? Listen well and take down important notes. Well, if you have questions or if you have something to share about a lesson for today, you can directly text me through these mobile phone numbers 0935-2310-211 for Globe and TM subscribers. And 929 21070 for smart and talking tech subscribers. You may also watch us live via Facebook in Dep at Dayo Malay Balay City, Dep at Malay Balay RBI program, or DXDB Radio Bandilio. Please, please, please drop your questions in the comment section. If you may, please also tell which school you are from. Mm -hmm. We will cater to your concerns right after the story. All right, so. The story is about three friends who love to go to the internet shop. One day, one lesson changed their lives. What could that be? Well, Teacher Karen, but before that, before we give the story, here are first the questions they need to answer as they listen to our radio drama. Take, Take it note. away. Number one, where do the kids frequently go every Saturday? Two, what did Kim remember after playing at the cafe? Three, why did Mang Victor share his story? Four, what happened to Mang Victor when he got addicted to computer games? And five, what are the positive effects of using internet? All right, so I think you're very ready and excited. So here's our lesson for today. Lend me your ears. Today, we will be talking about making connections. In this time of technology, Making connections becomes easier and faster, and even shorter, because we use internet acronyms. With that, let's have a game to test how techy you are. Tell me what these acronyms mean. LOL That's right! LOL means laugh out loud. BRB Correct! BRB means be right back. ATM You got it right! ATM means at this moment. IDK You nailed it! <laughs> IDK means I don't know. DIY Perfect! <laughs> DIY means do it yourself. Have a story to share. Its title is At the Internet Cafe. Listen 
well. Have your pens and papers ready for the short quiz after. So that you will fully understand the story, you have to know first some important words from the story. There are five key words. Internet shop, addiction, routine, fascinated, and cautioned. What is an internet shop? It is a place that provides internet access to the public. In order to attend the online class, I need to be in the internet shop. What do we mean by addiction? It is an unusually great interest in something. He devotes his summer to his mountain climbing addiction. How about routine? Routine is a regular way of doing things in a particular order. His everyday routine includes passing by the old woman's place to say hello. What is the meaning of fascinated? It is to cause someone to be very interested in something or someone. He was so fascinated with computer games. What is cautioned? Cautioned is to warn or tell someone about a possible danger and problem. He was cautioned for overspeeding. Ready for the story? Lend me your ears! The Internet Cafe. It is a Saturday morning. While Aling Nina is busy doing the household chores, Kim's friends arrived. Kim and his friends frequently visit the internet shop every Saturday. But Aling Nina hoped Kim would not go today. She wanted to tell something to the children. Yet, they are so excited to go. Kim! Your friends are here! Good morning, Aling Nina! I bet you kids are going to the net cafe again? Yes, Aling Nina! We have an assignment to search on the web. Here we go! Wait, son! It's a special day today. Bye, Nai! We're going now! Bye, kids! Don't be hooked! As the children arrive at the internet shop, Mang Victor prepares the logbook for the kids to sign. Since the children are used to that routine, they just do it hurriedly. They can't wait to sit in front of the screen. Mang Victor, same computer for me! I'll change station! Because the last time it logged... Hold it! You have to sign in the logbook first. Mang Victor is still young. He is just in his late 20s. And yet, he already has a business. No wonder the people admired him for his hard work.
before letting the children use the computers, Mang Victor reminded them of the rules in his internet shop. He showed a video on the important things that the kids should remember in order to use the internet responsibly. Although Kim and Romelin are used to it, since Mang Victor does it every time they came, they listened and view it silently because they respected him. But Greta, who is a first-timer to come with them, doesn't want to view the video because she was so excited to play. Same set of rules here, kids. No drinking, no eating, no cursing, no adult sights. Here's a short clip. Watch this. Okay, Mom Victor! Hi! Welcome to the safe internet. Come YouTube on, program. guys! Do we need to watch that? The I'm here to play. To I don't have much time. Are yes, Greta. This is an How SOP. We'd be paying anyway. Is, this is important, is especially for you, kid, since it's your first time here. They also use the internet a lot. <laughs> After showing the video, Mang Victor continued sharing his experiences of using computers while he was still a kid. According to him, he was so fascinated with computer games that he played for hours even without eating. My nana cautioned me, but I did not listen because I got so addicted to computer. I'd play like nothing else matters, like there's no tomorrow. What about school? I skipped classes and failed. What did your parents say? They got so angry that they did not enroll me the next year. They sent me to my lolo to help in the farm. It must be hard working in a farm. It was not easy working under the heat of the sun every day. So I ask for forgiveness for my parents and promise to be more obedient and hardworking. He was sent to school again using his earnings from working in the farm. From then on, he studied hard and minimized going to the internet shop. His parents became so happy seeing their son who really learned a lesson from his mistake. Mang Victor added that using computer for unnecessary things may be addicting. It can affect their studies, ambition, and even family relationship. He shared his life story to the children because he doesn't want it to happen to them. He is limiting the kids' time in his internet shop so that they will not be addicted and they could have more time for their studies and family affairs. So kids, don't be hooked! Yes, Mom Victor! The kids look at each other and agreed to what Mang Victor has shared. After an hour, they went home and Kim remembered it was his mom's birthday. get back after lunch. Something wrong? Happy birthday, Nanai! I love you! Oh, I thought nobody remembered my birthday. Ready for the questions? 
I have five questions about the story. Let's begin! One. Every Saturday, the kids frequently visited the A. Coffee shop B. Grandpa's farm C. Internet shop D. School Two. What did Kim remember after spending one hour in the internet shop? A. It's his mother's birthday. B. It's his grandpa's birthday. C. It's time to play outdoor sports. D. It's time to make his assignments. Three. Why did Mang Victor share his life story? A. To be admired by the boys. B. To brag about his accomplishments. C. He wants to reprimand the boys. D. He doesn't want his unpleasant experiences to happen to the boys due to computer addiction. Four. What happened to Mang Victor when he got addicted to computer games? A. He gained more friends. B. He got high grades in school. C. His parents became very proud of him. D. He stopped schooling and was sent to his grandpa to help in the farm. Five. Which of the following is a positive effect of using the internet to oneself? A. It can be addicting. B. It affects one's studies. C. It provides easy access to new information. D. It enhances child-parent relationships. Spend quality time with your family, not with your gadgets. Maybe you are so hooked with online games that you miss that it's your mother's birthday. By the way, to anyone who's celebrating their birthday today, Happy Birthday! I hope you have learned something on our session today about making connections.
You just heard the radio lesson for grade 6 English on making connections. We shall now read the comments and questions sent to our mobile phones and to our Facebook live streaming. Yes, Teacher Karen, I believe they are very eager and excited to share what they learned. If something's not too, so clear, class, then we are also very ready to answer your questions. Teacher Karen, what do we have there in our Facebook live streaming? Oh. Can you read some comments, please? Feedback? Oh. Um, well, based on uh, here on our Facebook live streaming, um, they greeted us. Good afternoon, Teacher Jerry and Teacher Karen. You are doing great. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there's no question, Sir Jerry. Oh, okay. Oh, most of them are really just feedback or comments. Yes. Okay. And we're happy to read them all. Yes. Okay, so please do share something and care to share if you have uh, time. And um, you can text us. You can comment. Yes. Yeah. Hello, kids. Are you still there listening to us? Mm -hmm. So maybe Teacher Jerry, you know, we're waiting for their responses because I think they are still trying to connect to our station or Facebook. Because of these past few days, no, we've been experiencing a really poor internet connection, mm -hmm. Teacher Carmen. Yes, uh, which give them a totally hard time making connection to us ATM yeah. BTW I love the story today sub, 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 Teacher Karen You made mention about ATM What does that mean? <laughs> ATM it means At the moment wow. How about BTW? BTW is by the way Oh I see Yes so the story was uh, You know very timely And important Agreed. With our fast changing world today We must make connections yeah. connect the dots as they say and find out how these would affect us yes agree 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 in other words teacher Karen hashtag relate much. much yes that's what we say right when we are able to experience the same things now uh, that makes me remember teacher Karen the lines from the song colors of the wind from one of my uh, very favorite no all-time favorite <laughs> Disney movies <laughs> Pocahontas right. mm -hmm. and it says and we're all connected to each other in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. Mm -hmm. And speaking of that, Teacher Karen, I please, you please uh, <laughs> sing for me. Sing that line for all me, please. All right, I would love to. Yay. And we are all connected to each other in a circle, in a hoop that never ends. All mm. right, yeah. So yes, we are all small pieces of the, the puzzle together making up a bigger and beautiful picture oh, very beautiful 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 words it's a current I couldn't agree more the lesson today actually teaches us to connect not only to the information from TV from social media radio or newspaper but also to people around us it's called human connections true it's all about empathy and sympathy we we need more of this especially at this time of pandemic yes so dear learners and to anyone who's listening us right now please remember to make our connections real authentic genuine true and personal more than virtual as the old saying goes no man is an island yeah 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 now I I hate to say this but uh, <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we need to say this. <laughs> we need to say goodbye. We need to say goodbye. But yeah. before we say goodbye, Teacher mm -hmm. Karen, I guess yeah, we have more All right. uh, so, comments. So, so we'll read um, oh, the says comments. There, by the way, it says there from um, Darren, Rihanna, sorry I'm late. You are <laughs> never really late to learn. Yes. Okay, we can wait. Then Ed waits for you. <laughs> uh, because uh, for those who are listening over the radio, mm -hmm. uh, uh, good luck I mean congratulations to you and to those who said they are late no not really you can actually replay this those who are having this in the uh, live streaming via Dep and Tayo Malaybalay City Dep and Malaybalay RBI program and DXDB Raju Bandilio and also Sir Jerry somebody asked this it's Belle Angela Kabarihan is Mam Kalyanta the mom of the story the yes, answer is, is the answer is 
Yeah, I think she yes, is. Yes, she, she uh, recorded it with us. So, so some yeah. voices may sound familiar to you because they are mm -hmm. actually real-life teachers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, teachers. And uh, some of the comments here says, Thank you, teachers. Thank you, teacher. And be safe and happy viewing, uh, viewing po from grade 6 student. From a yes, grade 6 student. it says they're making connections, no? So just like the, in the story about, mm -hmm. about Kim, no? He <laughs> almost forgot that it was his mother's birthday. Right, teacher Karen? Yeah, and uh, BTW. Yes, and it's and almost my mom's birthday, oh, Sir Jerry. So, so why don't you greet her? <laughs> Happy birthday in advance, Mother yes. Telma Makas. In you know where you are, mommy. Yes, I love you. She's right there in your heart. <laughs> yes, oh, okay. of course. I also would like to greet. Happy birthday to one of my co-teachers, Ma'am Daryl Timulak Villa Flores. Happy birthday, ma'am. Yeah. Okay. So please, and kids, don't be so hooked at your gadget that you mm -hmm. you forget that you are able to forget that it is your birthday of you somebody special to you yeah so if so, somebody you love you really have to really um, obey the person especially our parents right yeah uh, that virtue should be practiced at home it will be mastered at home and then brought to the school and brought to the community yes, virtue so, should yeah. always be always present and in connection to uh, the lesson a while ago from the Araling Panlipunan na, the smallest unit of uh, the, the community society. is the, the family, family. Yes. It, it is where we should cultivate and practice Very our virtues family. in life so parents yes, because the love, please help us <laughs> yes, because the love values and also discipline all start from home yes yes the home is where your heart is sir jerry oh, oh agree agree teacher <laughs> karen wow okay now we hate to say this mm -hmm. but we have to say adieu that's all for today class this has been jerry andrada java and karen marie makasligan saying stay, stay home, home but stay smart, smart. bye 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 bye, 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 bye. bye. You have just heard our school on the air radio based instruction program, Bali Mani, which means listen, Paminawa, prepared by grade 6 English teachers with the full support and technical assistance of the following DXIQ 106.3 Love Radio General Manager, Mr. Armand S. V. Nabaye, Ms. Sheila May and Galudu, aka DJ Lola, and staff. Malai Balai City, I condemn. And school principals, personal and staff of the school's governance and operations division, learning resource management division, curriculum implementation division, Dr. Aliena S. Dahai Sese, assistant schools division superintendent, Dr. Victoria V. Gaza Sese 5, schools division superintendent, division of Malay Balai City Region 10, Department of Education, and DXDBC. 5 con 9 4 sa inyong mga radio Radio Bandilio